So it's JavaScript object notation means it uses somewhat JavaScript syntax, but you will find a few elements of JSON which do not follow the JavaScript core syntax. So if you want to declare an object of JSON type, JSON type is a multi-valued object, right? Something as an advanced collection like hash table, you have a key value pair. So just like when you create a class, what is class has properties? And every property has a value. So you basically pair a property value. That's a pair. Every property has a value. And an object is a collection of property value pair. Similarly, in a collection, you have index numbers, but each index number is actually two part. One part name, one part value. So if you want to store somebody's name and somebody's address and somebody's phone number, you don't need three parallel arrays. You can store it in the same collection. So if I'm creating a variable of JSON type, I can literally say variable, which is following JavaScript syntax of declaring a variable, and JSON variable equals to, and then I can start putting in the details of that variable. The details of the variables are enclosed in opening and closing curly braces. And as you notice, in a typical JavaScript, you will never notice a curly brace ending with a semicolon until and unless it is a set of array values. And when you list a set of array values, you simply list the values separated by commas. But here you will notice that they're not just set of values, they're actually a combination of a property name, colon, a value of that property, comma. So it's a property name and its value pair. That's one property done. Now on the next line or in the same line, I can say, well, it has another property called Chicago, Illinois. And it has another property called the gender, which is male. So now I can create a variable with three properties. Each property has a value. So it is sort of kind of like an object that we learned about last week. But in fact, it's not really treated as an object. It's a JSON object, but it is a multi-valued object. Okay, so, so once you create this object, now let's tap into this object. So we'll say document.write JSON object age. So now I can use something you are familiar with in C Sharp or in Java, that if it's a public property, I can literally use the name of the object dot the property. Now, I was going to make some changes to this. I'll change my object's name from JSON variable to maybe Andy. And I can say Andy's age. Andy.age. So notice my code automatically becomes a lot more readable. I change my object's name to Andy and it says Andy's age and it says this. Now I can copy and paste this line and I can say Andy is a okay so now if I run this example I get the output Andy is 24 and he's a male and he lives in Chicago Illinois
if I ever want to add a property to my structure, I can always go back to my structure and I can add a property. And here's my output. Andy plays with Woody. 